So I'm going to briefly touch on that because that's something I really, really struggled with this pregnancy and I would say around week 11 and going into week 12 was I was kind of like at my breaking point. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's a little bit of gap in pregnancy updates and there's a reason behind that. Um, I combined my 11 and 12 week update and I filmed it and then the footage got corrupted so I was a bit bummed about that but what can you do right? So you guys are getting a great big fat pregnancy update all in one from weeks 11 through 13. Um, so hopefully this isn't too long but I'm just going to try and remember what happened and let you know. So weeks 11 and 12 I combined for mainly because I was just so sick and tired that I just couldn't get myself together and organized to film an update. So um, I think it was just after I turned 11 weeks I actually got food poisoning or a stomach bug, I'm not sure which, one or the other. It knocked me out for, I got it on the Friday. I actually had to call Shane home from work because I I couldn't function, like, I was so, so ill, um, and the kids were running, like, little street urchin urchins around my house, um, destroying everything, and I was just like, please come home, um, so he did, but that kind of wiped me out for the entire weekend, um, I wasn't necessarily sick the following days, but I was very, very tired, so, <sighs> that sucked, because I was just starting to feel better, um, then over the course of the, the next week, I did start to improve, um, my nausea has gradually decreased and declined in intensity um and I can't say that my fatigue is really worn off I'm still really tired most days um so I'm 13 weeks one day now when I'm doing this update um and today I'm having, having a bit of an off day I've just been feeling sick this morning like I actually felt like I was going to throw up which I haven't felt like that for ages um so I'm just feeling a bit off and I'm really tired today I don't know why maybe the baby's having a growth spurt who knows um but generally speaking the nausea has been like one tenth of what it was. So that has been a huge blessing. Um, the other thing that has happened this week is that my appetite has increased pretty dramatically. And actually I was watching my pregnancy updates and reading my pregnancy update for my other two pregnancies and it was right around this time that the same thing happened with both of them. So um, I think I'm just, you know, heading into the second trimester and it's time for baby to start, you know, packing on some weight and growing a little bit more. So I guess my, makes sense of my appetite's increasing. Um, I've had some cravings. I love, there's this pulpy fruit juice that I really love. Um, sushi, I still love sushi. Um, I don't eat raw fish, so don't panic. Um, what else? Uh, it's tuna. I've, I've had to like limit myself on how much you can have of that because of the mercury content, but I've been really liking tuna. Um, and carrot cake. I haven't had any carrot cake, but I'm craving it for weeks. So tomorrow I'm actually heading off for a girls weekend. Well, girls weekend. It's a break for me anyway. I'm going to go stay with my mum for a night and I am going to hunt down some carrot cake in town and eat it. Um, Acid reflux has definitely been a thing, like every night after dinner, so that's not fun, um, but I was expecting it. I've also had a ligament pain um, when I get up too quickly. It's not terrible, but it's definitely there. Um, it's just like stabbing pain, and I just have to slow down. And the other thing that happens now when I get up too quickly is I feel like I'm going to pass out. So I had to really slow down, um, and I've been short of breath, like even now I'm short of breath. So the mornings are quite challenging because I do most of the chores in the mornings and I've just been getting out of breath, tired, dizzy, sick, so it's just annoying. But um, I'm having to pace myself quite a bit. So we went for our 12 week ultrasound and that was really lovely. Baby was looking really happy and healthy and wriggling around and looking like a baby now and not just a blob. <laughs> Um, we had a really nice ultrasound tech. She was actually a student, so she kind of took a bit longer to do things, which was nice. Um, we didn't feel rushed at all. Um, so we got to see little bubs, and we're so excited. I'm so excited to find out the gender, but we won't be finding that out until around 20 weeks. So I've still got about seven weeks to go until that point. Um, 
my uterus, so I have a retrover retroverted uterus, which essentially means it's just tilted backwards a bit. Um, and this has happened in all three of my pregnancies. It kind of comes up on the right hand side first and I get a really, really sore ligament right there. Like it's really painful to touch, it's tender, and then it kind of pops out. <laughs> and that's what's happened this week. So that um, ligament isn't sore anymore. Um, and I can feel my uterus right across now and it's really hard. Um, and so that's really nice to know that everything's happening as it should and I'm not quite so uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, everything's kind of tight and stretching. I can feel things growing, so um, that's a good sign. But yeah, it's just interesting how everybody's everybody's body is different, and what might seem really unusual and weird actually isn't in pregnancy. So there's that. Um, I was kind of annoyed because in my last update, the one that got corrupted, the um, footage, I actually talked a lot about like hormones. So I'm going to briefly touch on that because that's something I really really struggled with this pregnancy and I would say around week 11 and going into week 12 was I was kind of like at my breaking point where I had just been so sick and just felt so um useless to be honest um I was very much struggling and it was not pretty I was crying multiple times every day um I was a bit of a hot mess and I had zero patience for my children today. I kind of have very little patience for my children as well, if I'm being honest. I'm tired and they kind of woke up in a very energetic, destroy everything mood. So I just have to breathe through it. But um, I was really, really struggling a couple of weeks ago. And I think a lot of that has to do with my personality and um, being a bit of a people pleaser and liking to be in control. and. All of that was stripped away with me being so ill um, and I was just frustrated at myself and frustrated at those around me um, for not understanding my feelings but also like it just I was just mad at myself for not being able to be a good wife and be a good mother and be a good housekeeper like I couldn't do any of that stuff properly um, and I'm grateful that I've started to feel a lot better like physically and so that has helped a lot mentally but, um, yeah, I wasn't in a, ha a happy place at all for a while there. Um, it was really, really challenging. And a lot of it has to do with hormones as well because, like, even now I can cry over the stupidest little things. And I am not like that. Typically I'm not like that at all. I like to, um, I'm just more in control. I just don't cry easily. Like, it has to be something really upsetting for me to get upset over it. And... Um, so I know it's the pregnancy, and I don't think I had so much of an issue with this in my pregnancy with Annie, but definitely reading back on my updates with Jack, for sure, I struggled with this. So it's not unusual, but it's not fun, um, and I'm just grateful that I'm feeling a little bit better. I know that those feelings are probably going to come back near the end of the third trimester, because I'm kind of like a peach twirl by that point, and I can't do anything. Um, but it's just seeing it for what it is, I guess, um, and asking for help, and seeking help. So um, I'm thinking of writing a blog post along those lines, um, but I want to I want my thoughts to be a bit, more, a bit more coherent before I do that. I don't like rambly blog posts, so um, I need to sit down and think about it a little bit more. Anyway, leave me any questions that you might have in the comments. Head to the blog um, if you want to see like a written format of this update, um, and maybe there might be some additional stuff if I think of anything. Um, and there might be a picture or two, I don't know. We'll just, we'll see what happens. <laughs> see how much energy I have. But if you enjoyed this, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And um, subscribe if you want to continue to follow our journey. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next update. Bye-bye.